In this video, we'll show you how we painted the roof of our narrowboat out in the open. We did the preparations a few days before, while Alba was undercover being blacked. Check the previous episode for the challenges and mistakes of stripping paint and treating rust on the roof of a 29-year-old narrowboat. Alba is going back in the water today, with only one layer of primer on the roof. I was hoping to do another coat today, but it looks like it's going to rain today and Friday, so I won't be painting and instead I'm going to take off all of the masking tape. Um, I've been told that it's best to remove it straight after painting, so I'm going to be doing that from now. I hope Saturday is the better painting weather. Anyway, I've got a lot to clean up inside. It's a complete building side inside, so I can use the sink now. I'm going to have heating on clean everything and make Alba look spotless. Bedroom is now the warmest room on the boat. Because we're plugged in into 240 volts, we haven't got the fire on. Um, we've got one small tiny little tiny little heater that I've got in a bedroom and to make the room warm to make any difference I've got to keep the door closed I also tied it up everywhere I've got a massive pile behind me here on the sofa that I need to sort out um, but everything else is cleaned rust has been removed from all of the surfaces although it took me four hours to do but Alba feels like home again now it's warm in the bedroom <laughs> and tidy. We're back on board. Uh, feels like we brought all our clothes with, uh, with us to Airbnb to clean it. Um, we've used, we've been doing laundry for a week. Um, so everything's clean but um, as soon as we came in we have a lot to sort out and put away. So we're doing that now. We're still at the marina. The weather is looking fine. Um, however, I am checking every couple of hours because it keeps changing. But fingers crossed there should be some a dry patch for another two or three days, which will give us the time to do a primer and undercoat before we leave. Back in that painting overalls. Had one day break from all of it. Ready. So three days in the rain, the whole roof is rusty again. We don't know what to do, feeling completely devastated, disappointed, upset and feel like all the hard work that I've done has just gone to nothing. We're going to cover it in Fertam, which is a rust converter and hope that this will fix it because we haven't got any other choice. Just needs a little touch up and a little love. It's just timing game. She's done a great job. I'm really proud of her. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen it all. She's done a smashing job, but a lot of heart's gone into it, hasn't it? It's not massively rusty. It just needs a bit of fur tan and it'll be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take two at applying fur tan. I'm hoping to get rid of all of the rusty patches this time. To prepare for the second layer of primer, I sanded the roof using a scouring pad. To apply fur tan, firstly I need to wet the surface with water. Then we leave it to work for the next 24 hours. been out of the water for a little while because she's 
taking on water, Captain. And um, today's the day that we're going to fix it. So we're going to learn how to do fiberglassing. Um, but first of all, I'm just inspecting the boat um, to see what needs fixing. So the obvious one is the Titanic hole at the front. When we hit the iceberg, I mean, who could have saw that coming? Second most important is when we crushed it in the lock. All of this blue is cracked and fractured. So I'm gonna fill in this one as well. These two are less important, but um, might as well get it done. Gonna take that out, fiberglass, I think over the top there. Might put a bit of wood in. Last night it rained again, even though it wasn't meant to. Woke up with puddles in the roof, but I have cleared those out. And it's been about an hour since then, so the paint seems dry. And I'm going to do another layer of primer now. I'm going to do a thick layer, so hopefully there will be extra protection. And hopefully there will be no more rain for, no for another few days. It's so cold outside today that after painting the roof and standing in the wind for two hours, we've just been putting off the fiberglass job. So we're going out now, yeah? We're leaving, we're gonna do the fiberglass. Yeah. <laughs> you sound excited. It's cold down here. It's a bit cold, but we can do it. Um, am I excited? Yeah, so excited. You're gonna make Xander float again, that's exciting. That is exciting. You can actually leave as well. I'm gonna start with this, about 1% of this. I'm just gonna freestyle it. And I'm just gonna mix it all up. This is perfect fiberglassing weather, so it's really windy, pretty much can't smell anything. Piece number two. take everything out and we only put the stuff we want to keep on. charging it's not working not a big deal at all but we have been meaning to upgrade our solar for ages and I think that's the sign yes. 97 
fair so like just yeah yeah okay yeah so what's the length 162 no well they're going to be on stands aren't they yeah so yeah that is that is less than 162 third of the boat Welcome to the second week of painting. <laughs> do you have something to say? So if any of you don't know what I do during the day, this is it. I sit on the sofa and save the world, design by design. I'm on the other hand uh, going to continue with painting. Today I am um, doing a light sanding of the primer and applying the undercoat. So Alba's roof is going to go back to white as we used to do. If you don't enjoy painting, my best advice, get an interesting audiobook. And this way the whole process is gonna feel like a day on a beach. While we're still early in the painting journey, it's best to tackle imperfections at this stage. So I went around with a sandpaper and scraped stuff off. It was another setback and I didn't want to ruin the paintwork, but it's much better in the long run to make everything perfectly smooth. I have no regrets. What's that noise? That Zoe scabbling. My favourite noise. Bloody hell. I mean, I'm watching the time. If she carries on after seven, I'm going to kick off. That was me last Monday, Tuesday, so don't, don't kick off. But anyway, while we've got 10 minutes, we're going to make more noise. We're going to make more noise. Oh, fucking true. That kind of did. I'm a bit concerned if this is going to be a fun episode. If you guys are still with us, give us thumbs up. Let us know. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? With, why are you crying? You did the first bit of filming today. What do you mean? And it's brilliant. Is it? Miles did the first filming for the vlog for the first time in the year. And it's so, so brilliant that I can't wait to show you. It's a how-to video. <laughs> How to make a vlog video. Let me know if you want me to take over filming. <laughs> Finally, the primer is dry, the roof is sanded to perfection, the weather report saying it's going to be dry for a few days, and so we are ready to say goodbye to grey roof and paint the first layer of undercoat. It's the first waterproof layer, so we can finally sleep well. One of the reasons it takes so long to paint the roof is that you have to wait at least 24 hours for each layer to dry up. And if it's really cold, below 10 degrees, then you probably have to wait even longer. And that's why it's taking us forever. 
far, it will take everyone forever. And we're learning. Yeah, massive learning curve. Yeah. Invaluable knowledge though. While we're staying at the marina, I've used the address uh, and ordered a few things online. And today I went into the office to pick them up and there was like a table and our post was on there. I needed to get something, I ordered it online and it basically ar arrived on my doorstep. It's just like the easiest way of getting mail that I've experienced in the last year and a half. So easy, it was so nice. I'm so glad I've, I've had that. It feels really amazing to gift. Day 5,703,000 of painting the roof. Today I'm putting on second hand coat. Good news, we still have three days of sunshine. Bad news, after three days of sunshine is three days of snow and then rain. I just don't want all my efforts to go to waste. This evening's experiment gonna take me a while to mop up. You all weren't hurt, were you? I begin by light sanding of the undercoat using a block and 240 grit sandpaper, then removing the dust. My tactic here is to outline the sides and hard to reach places first and then use a lint free roller for the rest of the roof. And the first step takes as long as the second. Just done the outline with the undercoat white. Um, might have a little break, have a tea and then finish the whole roof with the roller. Doing painting here in this marina makes me feel that I experience that feeling of being in the right place at the right time because we are painting the roof and our friend Zoe at the moment she is in the yard in the tunnel bit her boat is getting blacking so she's doing the same thing and then there's guys just next to us and next pontoon they're painting the roof as well there's like a painting community going on an accidental painting community where we all exchange tips and looking how each other's doing and kind of um supporting each other through this experience that isn't easy it's really fun to have people around you doing the same thing a quick tip if you're planning to paint the roof Take two weeks off work. Don't try and work all the way through it. It's not worth it. It's too much work outside to be coming down and doing more work inside. decided to have a big breakfast so I can get on with the last coat of undercoat. Did you know that if you keep avocado that you're going to with a little bit of onion it doesn't go black for ages and lasts a lot longer. I just can't bring myself to doing any more painting today. I think I've hit the wall. I'm gonna have a coffee. I never have coffees. I have decaf coffees, but I don't drink coffee coffee. So I think I'm gonna have to have that. It's really windy today. I don't know if painting in a wind even is a good idea. But the clock is ticking, so I've got to get on with it. 
I need to do it. <sighs> a bonus of it being so cold and windy today is that I can wear this jacket. It's got pockets and that means I can actually listen to my audiobook, put my phone in a pocket and uh, paint while listening to a book. This morning I inspected the roof and I found one small imperfection where the paint kind of f is flicking off um, which is quite good I think for the whole entire roof for just one little thing so I'm gonna go and fix it now it's gonna have a couple of hours before we start the top coat we've been told it's best to paint above 10 degrees Celsius so that is uh, going to be at 2 o'clock um, but because it's a sunny day, uh, the roof probably is going to be uh, warmer in the sun. So uh, we're going to wait till about one o'clock to start painting today. Three layers of undercoat later, we are finally starting on the top coat. The one we chose is called Ruddle, a special roof paint from Craftmaster. We are painting using laying off technique, where Miles is painting with the roller and I am immediately following on the same stroke with a paintbrush to get rid of the bubbles. It's really cold outside. Um, it looks like it's only going to get to 10 degrees at 4. So that's when we're going to start painting. If everything goes well today, today is going to be the last um, coat of paint on the roof. I'm about to go. I'm about to go and sand it with 250 sandpaper. Yeah, and start painting. If you're losing your patience just watching us paint, imagine how we felt working on it day after day. To summarize the paint sandwich, it looked like this: three coats of primer three undercoat and two top coat, eight in total. And from our experience, all of the layers are very important and we wouldn't recommend skipping any of them. On the last layer of the top coat, we had a brilliant idea. To avoid a paint crossover in the middle, we are going to stand on the opposite gunnels and pass over rollers and brushes to achieve one continuous stroke. It works really well. gonna sleep well tonight. No, we've done well. We've uh, put the final coat of uh, top coat on. I look so red. I had paint all over my face earlier and I was scrubbing it. I feel really hungry and tired and not the best combo. So I just make myself some nice dinner, super hot. I'm gonna sit down and just relax. Feeling really nice and accomplished after doing the roof. However, our friend Zoe is still in the in the tunnel in the yard. She's uh, scraping her boat, and she decided to paint the whole boat in three days. Uh, she's a crazy woman. Um, I feel that I want to help her, but I just need to sit down first and eat my dinner and just have a 20-minute break, and then I'm gonna go and help her a little bit. I think Santa's been. Do you think it's really painting well? <laughs> Maybe not. It's not even cold and it's still like frozen. It's I quite so like the textured effect. I hope it stays. That would be so fun if it does. Next week, it's a mad dash of activities so we can finally leave the marina to rediscover the challenges of life of grid after being plugged in into the shore power for a while. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. 
give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Huge thanks to our patrons and PayPal supporters who go above and beyond to help us produce these videos weekly, no matter how busy life on board gets. If you would like to see the next video today, join our live streams, get an illustrated sticker of Alba and many other packs, join us on Patreon. Thanks guys, see you in the next one!